question of the citizen's right to petition for grievance. Well, this is a constitutional right, and we are seeing it now. Hundreds of thousands of people around the country who are really making a difference. You know, when the Republicans get up on the floor and start talking about income and equality, about the American dream, that the message is really getting through. The 99 percent are are making a difference in this in this country. Um, the Republicans are, are are out of touch. They are not reflective of where the vast majority of Americans are, and we are fighting back. You are fighting back. I just am so grateful to this outpouring. When it comes to this is this is organized mostly around older Americans today. Imagine trying to cut Medicare, Social Security, Medicaid, and leave completely intact every hair on the head of millionaires and billionaires, companies who don't pay a cent in taxes, who get tax breaks for taking jobs overseas. This is a basic sense of unfairness. This is the destruction of the American dream. And I think that we're finally turning the corner here, and I believe strongly that we're going to take our country back. Thank you. I think uh, to challenge um, with nonviolent civil disobedience is part of our history in the United States of, of America. Uh, the, uh, certainly the civil rights movement and even the uh, and the uh, women's suffrage uh, movement, and of course. The ultimate uh, disobedience when we uh, broke away from uh, Great Britain and the tyranny of our oppressors. But then we're talking about nonviolence, which uh, I think is you know, an important factor here to, uh, to to make the point, to make it perfectly clear that we, that men and women, young people, old people, are willing to um, challenge the, uh, the status quo. We we're talking about. Um, Nonviolence on the part of the, uh, the occupiers of the uh, people who are speaking for the 99 percent, but there are places where that's been met with violence, um, and obviously this is um, you know horrifying, and uh, it, it should not it should not be, and I think we need to create um, space on the airwaves and. Uh, and virtually and, and really for people to be able to, uh, to, to speak out against the injustices that so many Americans are facing and the suffering that so many Americans are facing. The message is getting out there. It is hard to turn on the TV and not hear these clear, excellent, articulate voices of ordinary people. A microphone gets put in the face of any one of these people around the country and the message is clear that um, the, the rich are getting richer, they're taking advantage of the 1% of the 99%, and, uh, and, and that we uh, need to do something about it to restore the greatness of our country. You hear patriotic messages, really, about what has made America strong. So um, don't underestimate the impact of what these voices have been saying, all different voices. Um, you know, it's, people say, oh, who's the leader? It's leaderless. It's everyone. And that's part of the beauty of this. And that's coming through. Well, thank you so very much for talking with us today. And thank you for your words of support. Thank you.